Hello, I hope you're doing well. Um, quite recently, I posted a uh, performance video which used the XY effect as a beat repeat, which had been applied to various different knobs and also the crossfader. Um, and a few people asked me how I'd set that up. So I thought I'd just make a quick video to show how it was done. Um, so for this example, I've got a chopped up break just sitting on this clip here, which sounds like this. So the first thing we need to do is um, apply the XY effect to that track. So we're just in the mixer view here under effects. They're going to hit an empty slot, scroll down to harmonic, and all the way at the bottom, we'll find the XY effects. Now we don't need to worry about the settings at the moment because we want to apply the macro so we can hear what's happening as we change the settings. So to create the macro, we go into menu, hit macros, now you can obviously use whichever knob you want, and this process works exactly the same for the pad grid as well. Um, select the knob you want to use, and to apply the macro, we just hit the plus button. Uh, we're now going to scroll down to track, because it's the uh, actual track we want to affect. And then insert one, which is the insert effect we just applied. And the parameter we want to change is enable, which switches it on and off. So now we've applied that. Couple of things we need to do. We want to make sure it's on momentary and click toggle, and that means that the effect will engage as we touch the knob, but stop when we let go of it. So now we've done that, we can change the settings on the XY effect so that it sounds where we want. So we go into the effects here. Now X and Y axis, they basically represent where your finger would be touching the screen if you were using the XY pad. The top one um, affects the uh, time division of the repeats and the Y axis is the cutoff frequency. Because this is a break um, with lots of treble in it, we, we want it to sound more or less the same um, as it is when it's not being affected. So I generally go for a high pass filter. So if we hit it now, this is what it does. So we just need to just need to uh, adjust these parameters so it sounds right. That sounds pretty usable to me. Now for a drum break, um, you want quite sharp divisions. So I tend not to mess around with attack and release. However, if you're doing this on something that's got lots of reverb on it, like a, a vocal or something, I tend to add a little bit of release so that when you let go of the beat repeat, it doesn't sound artificial. It lets the reverb and the uh, the, the tails of the sound um, continue after you've let go. So now that's pretty much set up. So if we go back, we can see. Works quite nicely. Um, you can do exactly the same thing for the crossfader as well. So if we go back to macros and then crossfade, there's our crossfader here, exactly the same deal. Press plus to add a, um, a, a, a parameter to the crossfader. Go to track again, go to insert again, enable again, exactly the same. And now when we play, we get the same effect using the crossfader as well. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I'll be doing some more of these tutorials. So if you found that useful and you'd like to see more, um, by all means, subscribe. Thanks very much.